Now let's take a trip back in time with Backtracks, a look at Chicago's colorful public transit history. The Lake Street Elevated Railroad went into service in 1893 and was steam powered. In this photo, the train is getting ready to leave the terminal at 52nd Street, now known as Laramie. A grand opening was held on February 27, 1923 for the Lawrence Avenue station on the Northwestern Elevated Railroad. World War I delayed the elevation of service north of Wilson. Until the early 1920s, trains began their descent to street level at Lawrence. This is a 1938 view of Chicago Surface Line's trackman building a temporary bypass for Damon Avenue streetcars at Harrison. Cars like this number 1550 were called turtlebacks because of their arched roofs. They operated over a route that ran only from Fullerton to Blue Island Avenue. Construction of the State Street subway continued during World War II when it was designated as an air raid shelter. In order to maintain streetcar service, tracks were realigned around the construction site. Note who gets second billing on the Chicago Theater marquee in the background. This streetcar heading south on State Street at Adams was used during a World War II recruitment drive in 1942. Decorated in Fly for Navy colors, car 1775 and other specially painted cars ran in regular service on several routes that passed through the loop. At wide triple intersections like Irving Park, Cicero, and Milwaukee, the maintenance of trolley wire was a challenge because of the distance between supporting poles. When this photo was taken in 1951, crews were preparing for trolley bus service on Cicero. Irving Park already had trolley buses, while Milwaukee still had streetcars. That's it for this episode of Backtracks. Now back to the present.